they do, huh? I'd like to thank my helpers Jen and Cynthia, and also Eliana and Chris. Well, hello TEDx Oshkosh. Hi, Mom. A little over 25 years ago, I had just got out of a Grateful Dead show was wandering around the parking lot encampment, uh, kind of enjoying the after-show glow of things, when I heard some beautiful percussion music coming from off in the distance. So I searched it out. It was coming from an old school bus converted to a motorhome. And I was going to compliment the guy on the awesome sound system and see who it was so I could go get the CD. And I rounded the front of the bus, and I was amazed to find 15 or 20 folks sitting in a circle playing a variety of drums and percussion instruments. Uh, after listening and, and watching them for a while, it became clear that they weren't a practiced per, uh, percussion ensemble, but more just a random collection of people playing music in the moment based on what was going on right then and there. That music, as I sat there and listened, permeated my being like even the Grateful Dead had not. And they were the masters of transcendental music. So as I, as I noticed, everyone in the circle was paying close attention to what everybody else was doing. They were listening to each other, they were calm and focused, and they were respecting each other's contribution to the whole song and every one of them was wearing a contagious smile. I didn't know it at the time, but that moment set me on a path that's brought me where I am today. You see, at that point in my life, I'd worn out the party phase already, and I was looking to cultivate my resolve to become part of the solution, to actively be a part of something that was gonna make the world a better place to live. And so, with that in mind, I guess that was kind of where a shift in my mind's eye was happening from me and the party to community and the party. <laughs> so I returned home and began using my uh, do-it-yourself superpowers to learn about and build drums. Through trial and error, I found out that it wasn't necessarily when I listened to percussion music or even when I drummed by myself, but when I drummed with other people, I got this overwhelming sense of wellness and a feeling of hope and support from the other people in the group. So it was definitely that playing with other people and that sense of community in the drum circle and in the music that made it what it is to me and so healing and helpful. So for the next several years, I continued to make bigger and better drums and invited as many people as I could to come and drum with me. About this time, I got introduced to the World Wide Web. The first thing I used a search engine for was drum circles. That's when I found out that what I had been doing wasn't just a hobby, but it had a name and was an actual thing. I was a drum circle facilitator. 
So I found some places offering some training, went and got some, and I learned so much from people like Arthur Hull, who we call the uh, father of the modern drum circle movement, also Christine Stevens and Dr. Barry Bittman. The Oshkosh Rhythm Institute facilitates about 125 drum circles a year now, and we just wouldn't be doing that without influences like them. So is there an historical premise for drum circles? Absolutely. Music and drumming has been a central part of the healing arts for as long as we can find out in, in history. Music, song, and dance has also been in the, the glue that's held communities together for thousands of years. The traditions and knowledge of these drums, the rhythms, the songs, the music, has been passed down from generation to generation. Baba Tundi Alatunji was pivotal in sharing that knowledge and tradition with us when he came here in 1950 from Nigeria. The song we were playing when you came in is a prime example. It's called Funga. The rhythm was based on a, a traditional Liberian invocation to earth and sky. Then later, in 1959, there was a dance developed by Pearl Primus in conjunction with the Liberian National Dance Company. And uh, in the early 60s, Babatundi came up with a song to go with it. He used the Yoruba language and also a melody that was popularized by American minstrels called Little Liza Jane. So if it sounded familiar, that'd be why. In drum circles today, we use many traditional instruments, but in a non-traditional setting. Uh, the most common one you'll find is the djembe from West Africa. The name literally means everyone gather together in peace. It doesn't take a lifetime to master the uh, instrument to be able to contribute to the group song. In fact, in just a few minutes, as you witnessed up here, these guys sounded pretty good. You can get a couple different tones out of the drum, and the rest comes from our intuitive rhythms and our willing, willingness to collaborate with our neighbors in the group. So what does drum circle technology look like? Well, we, we gather, and at first we're a group of individuals. We bring with us our moods, feelings, and issues that, that we've accumulated in the day. And then we sit down to express ourselves through the drum. As we do that, the sound mixes with all the other sounds in the room. Everybody hears that sound that's mixed up, and it gets changed a little bit by it. As we continue to play, that cycle repeats itself, and you can see that eventually the rhythms are going to become more aligned with each other, and a unique common song emerges. Now we're grooving. And in that groove, is, it becomes effortless, and some real physical, mental, and spiritual changes can take place. In fact, Dr. Barry Bittman, some of you might remember, uh, he used to write the col column in the newspaper called Laughter is the Best Medicine. Well, him and his health rhythms team did some research to uh, kind of document some of those changes that were taking place. And they found that uh, stress levels reduced, which is good for our heart, among other things. They also found increased immune system function as well as uh, increased white blood cell count, which is how our bodies fight disease. So I was learning about all this stuff, and I thought it was cool, but it wasn't until I heard him explaining that they had started some regular drum circles for their cancer patients, and they had found out that they could reduce their meds and get the same effect while they're participating. And at that time, I was just convinced that playing music for recreation is not just fun, but it's physically healing. And just this year, a group in the UK did another study, and they showed that group drumming reduced anxiety and depression, and also increased social resilience in some of their uh, mental health service users over a six and 10 week span. When they went back three months later, they found that these effects were still apparent. So it's, it's real and it has a lasting effect. So one of the things, one of the many, many things that I've learned on my journey is that each and every one of us has an awesome creative spirit. 
Some of them might be pretty well hidden or buried under a ton of baggage, but with a little bit of facilitation, it's often very rewarding to see it emerge in someone who just didn't think they had it in them. I was given a string of drum circles down the street here at Washington Elementary, and afterwards, uh, a young boy came up to me. He totally reminded me of myself at that age, and, you know, the kind of kid bullies thrive on. And he gave me a big hug, and he said, you changed my life. <laughs> and it was so satisfying to know that, well, it looked like a, a hippie just having fun drumming with people, that there was real physical healing taking place. So that awareness that I have of everybody's awesome creative spirit makes it easy for me to see that while there's so many things trying to divide us in this world, that intuitively and naturally, what we want to do is respect each other and unite and make beautiful music together. As we try and build a stronger community, we need to take note of the barriers that seem to be between us and determine if those are fake or real. I can tell you that most of them are an illusion. But we need to deconstruct those barriers accordingly. And one of the best ways to do that is to participate in a community drum circle. There you'll, you'll experience firsthand and in real time honest to goodness community. Because the music that's created is a direct reflection of the group's relationship. So the same things that make a team work well together, respect, attentive listening, open and honest expression of your ideas and your feelings, these all make the music feel and sound better. As we get more comfortable unleashing our creative spirits, naturally our confidence and self-esteem improves, and we wind up taking that out into the world, spreading it around a little bit, and voila, more unity and a better world. So what do you think? Shall we experience some in-the-moment music right now? Yeah. Let's do it. I have some helpers that are going to come and pass out some instruments here. I guess we're going to have to spread out a little more than we originally thought. And I'm sorry we didn't have time to put something in everybody's hand, but I encourage you to join in, clapping, use your voice, stomp your feet, whatever you got. I also want to encourage everyone to find a drum circle near you and go check it out at least once. Then you'll know what it's all about. Community drum circles are family-friendly events. They're not just for hippies anymore. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to invite the drummers the exceptional drummers we have in the front row, to lay down a, a heartbeat rhythm. And then if you have an instrument in your hand, all you got to do is listen to that beat and put in your simple pattern. Keep it simple, and remember to leave a lot of space for other, others to fill in. Remember, there's no way to make a mistake while we're doing this. This is our song for this moment here and now. Oshkosh rocks.
You guys are beautiful. I don't want to stop it. Thank you very much for being willing to share your rhythmical spirits with each other and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.